Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For all of you who are new to my channel, I am Alicia, aka I am a natural girl. So if you type in I am a natural girl, you will get me. <laughs> so I decided to do the crochet passion twist. So um, it was funny because uh, my local beauty supply store, I was buying braiding hair. And as I was walking out, he was opening the box to pull out the passion twist. And so I'm like a fan of the passion twist. I actually have never did it with like the water deep hair. I think I did a bohemian hair. Yeah, I think I've done it with the bohemian hair, but ne never the water deep hair. But anyhow, so I said, let me give the passion twist, the crochet passion twist, a try to see if I like it. So for record, I, I'm, this is just my own preference. When it comes to like crochet braids, twists, or anything locks like that, I prefer only like on me. Now I'll do it on someone else, whatever. But for me, just because my preference, I like just regular braids. Uh, I kind of like that look because I feel like I have more freedom to do more styles if I'm in the mood to do more styles versus for crochet. To me, I feel like you're a little bit limited. I just like the more natural look when it comes to braids, locks, or the twists. So, um, so these are the twists um, you'll see uh, in the video, you'll see me have them down. But um, I really don't care for it, <laughs> I really don't. So what I'm deciding to do, and this is like a, a trick, like, well, let me say this. In my local beauty supply store, the water deep hair costs more than a passion twist hair. Instead of me going to buy water deep hair, because I really want to do the passion twist with uh, a more tighter curl, like the water deep hair or the water wave hair, excuse me. Take this apart and just twist this into my own hair. I probably well wear it for maybe a couple of weeks. It depends on how I feel about it. But I, for right now, as I see, I'll probably be wearing this in a bun. Yeah. So I'll get into what hair I'll be using for today's tutorial. Use the and you'll see it in a tutorial. But I use Alatress and it's the Passion Twist. Brady hair, so this is how the package look. I don't know if you can see that. And I use um, 1B and I use 350. So in total, I bought five packs of hair. I would say for my head, I use maybe four and a half packs because I definitely want to get the coloring in. This went in some spots where I filled it in at. So when I pull it in a bun, it bun. When I pull it up in a bun, it'll look decent me that was a lot of hair I don't know maybe because I haven't had any braids and twists in my hair in a while and even when I did my spring twist the hair was super light so the hair was light but for me I had to kind of fill it in more I don't know if because my braids is a little bit bigger whatever but then also I feel too the twist so this is the 350 here so the twists are really small so to me it's kind of like a, a small braid so you would need more hair. That's what I would assume. Like if I was going to do smaller braids or these not really, it's like small, medium braids. Like this how big the hair is. Like if the hair was a little bit, um, if the twist was a little bit wider, I feel like you wouldn't need as much hair. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not, maybe it's, maybe I need to try a different brand or maybe a bigger twist to like it. But I think to me, it's just the preference of me I prefer when I'm wearing twists or braids for the hair to actually be in my hair. But then again, crochets are really great if you don't have the time to invest in doing your braids or getting someone else to do your braids. So I totally get it, but it's just my preference. And it's not to say that I won't be rocking any crochet braids or twists. I'm not going to ever say that. What I'm saying is that if I, if I really... My preference is to have it braid into my hair. And so I feel like I would like to twist more if they were actually braided in my hair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this hair. I'm gonna wash this hair and try not to destroy it as I'm washing it. And I'm just gonna take this hair apart and the braid in my hair. I'll show you the techniques that I did in my hair. So it can look like that this was braided in my hair. So hi guys. So let's jump into today's video. Hi loves, here is the braid pattern I chose to do in today's tutorial because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. And also the hair, again I'm using 1B and also 350. And I also want to mention that this video has been previously recorded. And again, uh, I'm going to use the crochet hooks, of course that's how I'll be able to crochet the hair in. And also that tail, I'm going to 
lace it through the braid to, to make sure it's secure. Guys, I guess some exciting news here. I want to share my home decor that I chosen and do with Society6. Um, guys, I've been working on this, so I'm very passionate about this, and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Again, these are designs I've created on my own, so please go support and check it out. You can also follow me there on my shop, at my shop at Society6.com, I-D-N-G. I, I have more designs coming real soon, but guys, it'd be great for you all to just check it out, and also buy some pieces to welcome in your home. I really appreciate that, guys. Again, I'm super excited about it. So go follow me right there. Again, society6.com, IDMG. All right, let's get into today's story. video so again comment down below give me some suggestions like I really want to uh, 
love these patch twists, but I don't. And they're so pretty. I see, I did a research videos on what type of hair um, people use when they did their own um, crochet patch and twist. And some of the hair was just really cute, but I don't know. For me, I don't feel like it's, I just, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoy uh, the technique. I mean, it's really not a new technique, but I just find that, again, for my preference, I prefer to actually have braids braided into my hair. So that's why I went with this technique here. So uh, guys, if you like today's tutorial, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Like, why not get a big thumbs up? Just give me a big thumbs up forever. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit a notification uh, button too as well so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. And until then, I'll see you soon. Bye.